Good day and welcome, I am Drake598 and welcome back to my Deathwing tutorial series. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a revised short little tutorial on the Apothecary. Uh, so we'll just go through the special abilities in Customize for multiplayer. You can choose whatever armor set you like, it doesn't make any difference, that is just appearance. You can choose whatever ability you like, depending on what situation. Uh, the mass heal heals all your allies as well as yourself. The heal ability heals just an ally, and the auto heal heals yourself. Just yourself. The effects, or re effects and it reduces, I pretty much run all my characters with acid reduction as that is the bio blast strain that will run up to you and blow up in your face. It is a lot easier to say dodge the missiles, the plasma, the laser than it is to dodge those guys. And again I pretty much run all my characters with armor upgrades. Uh, you will get more out of that in the long run than you will out of the melee bonus boost or the ranged bonus boost. So moving on to weapons, uh, you are somewhat limited in what weapons you can take. He does only have these four ranged weapons and I do not recommend taking the lightning claws or power fist as if you do not equip his Narceptium, his cooldown will be quite a lot more. Uh, the Hellfire is a very common build for survivability. Uh, it can basically stun lock them. Uh, it is a very accurate re weapon out to a long range, so you will probably want something like the tactical uh, two times. Uh, you could even go up to the three times. I tend to use the firepower, the bayonet, and the emblem don't matter, and there's no real choice on those. That just improves efficiency for the high capacity magazine and re reliability module. Uh, what scanner you choose is also going to be up to you. Um, I just use the highlight organic life forms on pretty much all of them. You can also get the detect invisible enemies if you prefer, but I can tend to see them even without it. And the amplify the dark. Uh, the other most common weapon will be the redemption shotgun. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much set up the same as the hellfire. Uh, that will give you a lot more firepower, but less in the stun department. And the Storm Bolter and Storm Bolter MK2 are probably the least likely weapons you'll see on the field. Uh, moving on to perks now. Uh, personally, I do not find the mass heals range increase to be worth it. Uh, if it had an increase to the heal effect, I would use it, but it doesn't. It's just the range. The automatically regenerates your HP skill, less blood. Uh, I tend not to use that as well because you can heal yourself and there will be large periods of time when you are at full HP. Machine Spirit I do not recommend taking on anybody as there's no hacking in multiplayer. Increased damage to arms and legs can be useful to knock them on the ground a lot quicker uh, and taking out shooters weapons but negligible in the long run and armor penetration on the redemption pattern and the storm bolter and the mk2 storm bolter neither one of those i tend to use because he already has pretty good armor penetration with the uh, shotgun so i tend to go for resilience which is 30 percent increase to all body parts so your head your torso left arm right arm and legs and that all sort of stacks up. It makes him quite tanky, as the uh, Apothecary is one of the last people you want to go down in party play. So we will just quickly jump into a quick match and play it on No Mercy difficulty, run in Chapter 6 with the Apothecary, and we'll give you guys a demonstration. So I do think this is sort of important. Um, I am going to demonstrate the difference on the cooldown between the Power Fist and the Narceptium.
So as you can see, uh, the cooldown is now 170 seconds, 120 and 200 seconds. And that can make a huge difference in gameplay. So I don't feel I will need to demonstrate the Storm Bolter in Mark II Storm Bolter. I'll just demonstrate the Redemption Pattern and the Hellfire. As you can see, now that I've swapped back to the Narceptium, my skill time is 50 seconds, 30 seconds and 60 seconds. Which is a huge difference. Um, so you can get away with using, say, the Power Fist or the Power Claws if you're running alone, I never recommend doing it in a party. Um, you would be better off just taking another class at that point. Uh, the biggest problem with the Narceptium that I find is it takes two whacks to bust open a door. Now we are playing on the hardest difficulty and as of chapter 6 they are harder mobs as well, they have the space marine genome in them. So that's why I set up the acid reduction, the bio blast strain can just snip, sort of get up close and personal really quick. You will not need as much defense from missiles or lasers. So that's the first relic of the map. Uh, this is the first of my revised series on the classes and builds. I did do one in the past. Um, this is a fairly quick mission, so it gives a good demonstration of most of the classes, pluses and minuses. Pretty much every other class will be able to knock down... Ooh, that's a Psyker. That's the advantage of having resilience, they will not be able to one-shoot you. One-shot you. I was sort of hoping he would advance and I'd be able to spot him, but obviously not. One big advantage of the redemption pattern is you can shoot around corners like that. It's only on the recoil, it doesn't do quite as much damage as the main shot itself. But it is handy. find the Apothecary to be one of the slower classes, um, and slower in that it, it cannot have, it does not put as much damage output as some of the other classes, and it does not have 
access to the free times run speed. Like some of the other classes do. So the Apothecary is probably the main class you will find running solo uh, and one of the main classes you'll find hosting matches in multiplayer. It is also probably one of the very first classes you should level up when you first start playing. As even just two Apothecaries can pretty much be invincible. They are the only class that has any sort of heal abilities for yourself or allies. Uh, everybody else has different aspects, and advantages, minuses. Uh, some have invincibility, shields and things like that, but nobody has the ability to regain or regen HP to yourself or others. show you the Hellfire as well. The Hellfire does not have as much damage output, it's more of a stalling sort of weapon. It doesn't work on the bigger targets, but it does work on the smaller ones.
So hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Uh, this has been an unscripted sort of commentary on the Apothecary. Uh, some builds for it, uh, how it can be useful, what weapons to use in what situation. Uh, yeah. Hopefully some people out there did find it helpful. Um, free to check back if you are interested in more videos like this. I will be doing a revised version on, on all the classes as I've pretty much done everything I can do with them at this point. The Apothecary will never get as many kills, but as I said, he's the only person that can heal. Uh, so I hope everybody has a good day. This has been Drake598.